The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, everybody. Steve Plissett here from Rodliffe. Today's topic is making tax digital and the opportunities that making tax digital provides. So we'll have a quick intro. We'll talk about making tax digital itself. Then we'll cover cloud software and how cloud software can help. Then how this can then make you more effective and more efficient. Once you're getting the benefits of the cloud software and you're effective and efficient, then this will give you more opportunities to save tax uh, and help with VAT planning. And then we'll think about next steps. So, what is making tax digital? It's a HMRC initiative. Cloud software can help with MTD because it gives HMRC what they need every quarter. This results in you being much more effective and much more efficient. The opportunities arise from knowing with more certainty what the tax is that you should be paying and then planning around it. So you can plan your corporation tax and you can plan your income tax with much more certainty. Making Tax Digital, or MTD as it's known, it's in the press a lot at the moment. You may have seen one or two adverts on, on TV talking about MTD. So the countdown is really on. It's an HMRC initiative. We've got no choice with this. It's coming in, so we have to comply. The purpose of MTD is to ensure tax and the tax system is easier for taxpayers. There's also a hidden agenda um, in my opinion and in the opinion of other accountants too and that's for HMRC and the government generally to close the tax gap. There is thinking that some of the errors that um, HMRC find on uh, a VAT return for example can be avoided by using um, MTD compliant software. Making tax digital for business starts on the 1st of April 2019. So for VAT returns after that date, businesses that are VAT registered need to file their VAT returns in an MTD compliant manner. And to do that, you must keep digital records and submit VAT using MTD compatible software. While we're on the subject of digital records, what this actually means is if you imagine when you raise an invoice or if you log a bill in some software, then HMRC want a situation where you don't have to touch that invoice or touch that bill ever again. In other words, it goes in once only and it's stored digi digitally. Thereafter, it finds its way onto the VAT return with no more human intervention. So that's what HMRC mean by keeping digital records. Other MTD initiatives will follow. It's likely that they'll follow in 2020, but some of this legislation has already been delayed a little bit. So I think it will be April 2020 at the earliest, but I think it largely depends on how well making tax digital for business and VAT, how that actually goes. Cloud software. Many of you on this webinar will be Rodliff clients and you will already be using uh, cloud-based software. Rodliff recommends Zero in free agent. Zero is more, um, more useful for a small business than free agent for a contractor. Cloud software can save you time and it can save you money. The view of the data you have is up to date and it's in real time, which as I said earlier, will help, will help with decision making. 
You can get automatic automatic updates from your bank, which keeps everything on your dashboard up to date and relevant. You can use it with any device, so you can use it with a tablet, a smartphone, or however you used to uh, choose to use it. You can also integrate cloud software with the whole ecosystem that surrounds it. So, for example, for um, Zero, you could use Receipt Bank to look after your bills and expenses. Plus, it's scalable and it's cost effective and easy to use. At Rodliff, 95, 97% of our clients are already on MTD compliant software, being either Zero or Free Agent, or one or two other pieces of software that we also use. So once you're on this software, you're automatically MTD compliant. And this software makes it easier for you to run your business. Everything's up to date. As I said, your accounts are up to date. Your VAT and your tax records will be more accurate. Processes will be faster and more automated. And faster for HMRC as well, because if you're processing compliantly with software that they recognize and by the way zero and free agent are on the list of hmrc recognized mtd compliant software packages there's a there's a whole list of them on the website um then it's faster for them too because they're getting the information and it's only been touched once this will save time and as I mentioned, Rodliff over the last three years in particular, we've used or we've moved more strategically to ensure that our small business clients and our contractor clients have all got the correct software ready for this initiative. So the opportunities, if you if you think that this is the start of the MTD journey and then in 2020 or thereafter other taxes will follow then it makes sense to look at your bookkeeping and your records uh, in a more up-to-date fashion because this now then gives you those opportunities to to save tax and this is because you're better informed and you're better prepared you can make quicker decisions to save tax and you've got increased visibility. So thinking about some examples there, if you have um, on your free agent dashboard, for example, um, your corporation tax uh, algorithm calculation sat there on the screen um, and it's coming out at £5,000, you might want to chat to one of the guys at Rodlift to think, well, how can I, how can I take steps to reduce that £5,000? There, is there anything I can do? And because nothing's in the public domain yet, as it were, in other words, your accounts aren't yet filed, then there's opportunity to do something about it. Similarly, with personal tax, if you're if you're taking dividends and you've um, you're planning perhaps this year for the first time to go over the high rate tax threshold, um, but you want to try and save tax at the same time, then perhaps maybe somebody at Ren Sterling could help you with some investment planning um, to try and bring your personal tax down. You can only really do this, in my opinion, if you've got up-to-date information and with MTD compliant software, you've got that opportunity. I've missed a slide there, I'm afraid. I just need some technical assistance to try and get me back up to the last slide. Ah, there you go. Apologies for that. So your next steps, if you're thinking about this and you're worried about um, MTD, if you're a Rodlift client, 90, as I said earlier, 95, 96, 97% of you are already using MTD compliant software. So there's not much to do. The only thing that I would urge you to do is to keep that software up to date because it's more important than ever that your sales invoices, your expenses, your bank feeds um, are all in the system. So the guys can file your MTD compliant VAT returns 
from 2019 or rather April 2019 onwards. If you're not a Rodliff client and you're worried about MTD, then please get in touch. We can help. We can help set you up on the cloud and we can help train you. We can help advise you on, on the next steps. So that's it, only a short webinar. I hope that was helpful. I'll make sure that this webinar is up on the website. So if you want to have a look at it um, at any time, please do so. Thanks ever so much for listening. My contact details are on the screen now. Have a good afternoon.